Hey, what's good? It's Apocalypse Sundays here playing some Minecraft, showing you guys how to create a redstone message box. And now, what a message box does is every time you have a lever and you use it, letters will pop out of the wall and you can create this out of any block you want and is a is pretty much just a decoration just to show off your friends like hey I can I can create some cool uh, letters that will pop out of the wall and uh, anyways on basically this is what it looks like from the front actually uh, you can't really uh, you can't really see what's behind it right now but if the if a regular person was looking at this, they would see a uh, a blank wall. And uh, when you press the button, obviously, letters and initials can pop up. So uh, basically, if we take a look around the back, um, this is what it looks like. And uh, basically, all it really is the key to uh, creating this is basically just you need to find the route of uh, the redstone see I used uh, different routes to uh, change the redstone so I could give these pistons direct uh, contact with the redstone now I'm gonna show you how to create this so uh, let's get started and we're gonna build our own message box so uh, yeah let's get started Alright guys, so in order to do this, what you've got to do first is get sticky pistons, and uh, you need a certain amount of them depending on the uh, letter you want to create. So uh, we're going to start out by creating a, uh, you know, very easy letters, and um, let me turn down my music real quick. And uh, what you need to do is uh, get your pistons out and start making an outline or what your letter is going to look like. So, uh, if you want to make an eye just simply out of uh, pistons, you can do this. This is uh, the letter I. So, stuff like this. You want to have the pistons on top of, top of each other. It doesn't matter if they're on top of each other or a uh, diagonal, but you want to create these outlines using uh, the piston. So, uh, the next one we can create, I don't know, let's do a T, so it's IT. Um, so we just start making it with the, uh, with the pistons we have. All right, so there we go. It is IT right there. We just created that out of the pistons. And, uh, what you want to do next is start laying a foundation of a block you're going to use to place your redstone on. Now, I am using stone. You can use any block you want. And, uh... What you want to do is basically any blocks that are like suspended or whatnot, you want to make sure that you have a clear route where you can uh, put redstone or a, uh, a uh, one of these right here. But anyways, um, what you do is you get your foundations ready. So I am putting blocks on the T to make sure that... I uh, can get my redstone there. So uh, let's add these blocks. All right. And then we have our foundation, our basic foundation. And it doesn't matter if you add changes to the foundation later on. It's actually going to help you out more to figure out what paths you're going to need for the redstone to take in order for these pistons to work. So uh, we have our basic foundation here. And what you want to do is you want to have a reference, and a reference is I call uh, you know just using a uh, power source like a uh, lever and uh, just putting it off to the side to test it out to see if all the pistons are working. So uh, let's get on to the next step, guys. Um, 
what we gotta do is place our redstone down, our redstone, you know, our redstone repeaters, and just our regular redstone. So, uh, we're placing down some repeaters here, you know, so that these blocks can activate. So, uh, one thing you want to do with your lever you created, you want to turn it on to make sure and see which of these is active. So, uh, we're placing down our stone blocks, and this is a uh, path we're creating right here. We're creating a, uh, a path, and basically, um, the path determines whether the pistons are going to work or not. So, uh, if I place a block up here, um, and then place redstone, it will activate it and, uh, create a current of redstone to create those, uh, pistons to move. So, uh, I'm gonna create a quick redstone, you know, circuit, and then I'll come back to you guys to show you the next step. Hey guys, we are back. We've created our redstone circuit, and now all our pistons are active, as you can see right here. Now, uh, this is what it looks like from the back, and it kind of looks complicated, I know, and it looks like a lot of work, but it really isn't, guys. Uh, if you just mess around, keep that lever on, and, uh, you know, figure out these paths with the uh, blocks and the redstone. And eventually, all the pistons uh, will work. See, this is the path that I used um, to create my uh, letterbox. And it's basically random. Um, it's not really a special technique. Just find the way that, find out and like figure out the way that redstone works for you and how the, uh, the game uses it so you can uh, determine how to create your message box. All right. So now what we want to do is, now that we got our current, we want to uh, get our block of choice and start decorating it. Now, uh, obviously when you flick on and off the switch, the levers and the piston do move. It's all connected. So uh, what you want to do is start creating a wall. And uh, the wall can be any block you want. So uh, let's just use a random block here. Use uh, chiseled stone bricks. So... Uh, what you want to do is place your block of choice on the pistons, like so. Um, this way, so uh, you won't see a piston just shooting out. Um, you'll see the block instead. So now you just want to create a wall of the block you chose, and it does have to. Uh, it does have to be placed with the blocks used with the pistons. It all is one. Uh, entity here or one object so you want to place your block of choice with the blocks you placed right next to the, uh, the pistons so uh, I'll build my wall and when we get back I'll show you what to do next alright guys we just created our wall out of the block we chose and now that we uh, did that if we go to our piston and turn it on real quick you can see right here that the letters pop out of the wall. Now, uh, this is what ex exactly what we want, and um, now it's hidden behind these chiseled uh, stone blocks. And since we uh, since we chose sticky pistons, these blocks will stick. So uh, you can do this as much time as you want. See, it's off. It's on again. Off. You get the point. But, uh, yeah, that's basically the basis, the main uh, way to create these letter boxes. And uh, what you would want to do next, or what I usually do, is uh, get, the, uh, get all this redstone, you know, blocked off and sealed off. And that's pretty easy. All you got to do is, uh, you know, block it off using your blocks. And it shouldn't be too hard because 
these redstone, uh, the redstone circuits, um, you know, they can be compact if you make them compact. And uh, right here, see, I'm uh, just uh, blocking it off. And you also want to make sure that uh, when you're blocking it off to hide your redstone, that uh, it doesn't intercept with any of the uh, blocks that you placed on the uh, pistons and the redstone. So that's why I recommend using uh, separate blocks for the blocks you place the redstone on and the blocks that you use to construct your message. But anyways, guys, we're going to block this off, and I'll cut to uh, where I finish this to show you what I mean. Hey guys, we are back. We have just, uh, you know, finished blocking off all the redstone. Now that we did that, we have this huge uh, cube that we made. And basically, uh, we blocked off all the redstone. So uh, all the redstone that goes on in the background will not be shown to the people that are uh, walking by your creation. Now, to show that this works, is um, I'm going to turn on my lever. And there we go. We got some letters. It's 100% uh, guys. Um, just some simple redstone. But anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. This was how to create a message box using redstone in Minecraft. But anyways, again guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys the next you know, vid I make. So uh, again, peace out. Later.